Hello, welcome to Call to the Principal's Table. I am Mary Ann Franzese, Principal of Spark Elementary, and here we are in the beginning of the new year where all of us have been surrounded with so many wishes for peace on earth, happiness, joy, and that is the same wish we hold for all the children who attend school everywhere to start the year off in peace. With that said, Mendez, how have we been doing? I, it's been very quiet in my office for the last day. Any problems arising? Uh, recess is a big problem. Recess! A big problem. Oh, recess! What is going on? Who have come to my table? I have the Powerpuff Girls, self-proclaimed. Anna, Emmy, and Amelia. Heads up, ladies. Once again at my table. What is it about recess? The most conflicts happen at recess, and yet it is the thing that all kids long for. They wait for the moment recess bell hits, and then they get out there, and guess what? Some of the best learning happens because it's the kind of learning where we have to deal with social conflicts, emotional conflicts, find a way to move through them without hurting each other too much. So let me hear all problem solving starts with the heart to heart. So I open my heart to you ladies and I want to hear what's going on. Emmy, what is happening? So, me and Amelia. You and Amelia. We became good friends. You became good friends? Yep. Wait, you weren't always good friends? No, we know that. What has been going on? These girls have been together for years. Well, Go ahead. What's been, what was the problem between you and Yes, Yesterday we were friends, but. What happened? But today we're not. I don't know why. Yesterday you were friends, but today you're not. That's what happened. No friends to break up. What happened? Wait, Anna. What happened? Um. So at lunch, um, um, we did we did our handshake. B F F B F F. Yes, hands. Now wait. What is the trouble with that? What does B F F stand for? Amelia, hold. Amelia, what does B F F stand for? But what does B F F mean? Um, that Do you know what friends that's? Best friends forever? Best friends forever. So if they're best friends forever, mm. does that leave you out? Sort of. Yeah, got it. So you were doing your handshake. Then what happened? Me? I could tell a story. I could tell a story. You got a chance. Go ahead. So you were doing your so, handshake. So me and Amelia became friends. And then one time I was walking in the hallway with her yesterday. Um, I was chitter chatting with Anna in the hallway, and she said, Emmy, why were you chitter chatting with Anna? And then she started whining when I said it was something back, because she only wanted me to be her friend. And I said, Anna's my friend too. And then one time, Anna's like, are you, are we still like friends? And I said, yeah, everyone's my friend. Got it. So what happened when you saw Anna and Emmy talking in the hallway, Amelia? Kind of uncomfortable. Why? What made you uncomfortable? Because we were friends, and then I felt like Anna was trying to be friends with Emmy again. But so I what? wasn't. I was. Wait. I I still left out too, Amelia, be, because oh, um, Emmy said no. He can't. Because Emmy s said um, she wants to play with me at recess, and then she wants to play with Amelia. Not fair. But so wait, what's not fair about it? What happened? Emmy said she wanted to play with Anna at recess, and, and then, then you felt left out? No, And I'm, then when Emmy wanted to play with Amelia at recess, you felt left out? Yeah, because so I'm, I'm stuck in the middle. middle. Ah, caught in the middle. Okay, so tell me what happens when you're caught in the middle. What are you struggling with? Well, I it's usually like, be caught in the middle. It's like so stressful, too, that Amelia is like jealous because... Because I'm not jealous. Because I kind of feel uncomfortable because because I, I see like, that Amelia's a little jealous because she's because like because I love at lunch today at lunch today today we did like, our handshake and and then Amelia Amelia got got 
I left, and then yeah, Amelia started to cry. I can tell you what she said. I said something, something, Chelsea. Rob, it was it bad, 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 I kind of No, but bad. Amelia, Amelia. I hear you. you. No, but no. And mindful moment. Pick those flowers. Wait. I, I to hear. Now, I forgot our talking stick. And what problem are we having? Everyone's talking at the um, same time. Okay. So, so take the talking glasses only <laughs> if you have. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> take <laughs> the talking <laughs> pen only if oh, you have I, the pen. I, may I, you speak? Go. So when Amelia saw me and Anna doing a handshake, Amelia was like, "Emmy, I thought you and me had a handshake, and we do, but." Me and Anna also have a handshake, and I want to be friends with both of them. But they're, but Amelia's bickering about yeah, but with no, me and yes, Anna. Oh, got it. Yeah, but no. Now? Yeah, but no, yes. Yesterday. Yeah, but no, yesterday we, we made a handshake, and now I feel like we can't do it anymore because you're friends with Anna. Oh, Ooh, Anna's turn, Anna's turn. But, 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 I, but, I, but I said something to Emmy that I wanted to say to Amelia, but she... At lunch, Josie rots your bones. You don't want Josie to rot your bro bones because that's bad. And also, and also, I saw them fight a lot, and I, and I saw how they act, and I, because I was always, because I was always caught in the middle, and apparently, apparently, me got getting caught in the middle went to Emmy, and I won't have to get getting caught in the middle back, back because I don't want Emmy to get. Because it get that because that's horrible being caught in the middle. Gotcha. I love you. Okay, I need to sum up what I've heard so far because you girls are putting out so much important information. One of the hardest kinds of friendship are the threes, the triangle, because in the triangle there's always that middle point. Right now, Emmy is at the because middle point. I'm <gasps> Who has the pen? If <laughs> Emmy's friends with Anna. Amelia feels left out. If Amel if Emmy's friends with Amelia, Anna feels left out. When Anna was in the middle, same feeling. Now Anna said something very interesting. She said, Jealousy rots your bones. What does that mean? Jealousy doesn't rot your bones. That means it 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 doesn't just rot your bones. It just kind of feels like it just kind of feels like weird. Inside. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's a very natural feeling when you love a friend and you see a friend showing more attention to someone else. That feeling inside does feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Left yes, out. Yeah. Or is there some noise going on backstage? Mendez, take care of them. On it. Thank you, Mendez. <laughs> they are in trouble. I need the pen. Big trouble. Okay. Wait. So back. I'm still summing up. So we have jealousy. We have feeling left out. We have stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle with Can you. Can I take the Mendez's <laughs> There's Can another good the middle. Can I take the seat? No. Yes. Okay. So ladies, now we're at the place where we're going to start to put our heads together and think about how we can solve this problem. Mendez, have you ever had this type of problem? <laughs> I have, but we need a whole other show to talk about it. <laughs> right? It's not so uncommon for girls. No, it's very common. I have to say, all my friendships are with three. Yep. I have two great lady friends <laughs> who love each other. I have my two sisters. I love threes. Threes you can be kids, great, you but you've got to work it out. So let's think about how, what makes thing. threes work. How can the triangle work? I, need, mm -hmm. I think we've already gotten a clue about that middle person. I think we've got to get someone out of the middle. You have an idea for how to make it better, Anna? I, Hold I, it, pen, and then I Emmy. saw uh, um, them, them fighting and... And um, and I want them to know each other better, and I want them to... Them meaning Anna, I mean Emmy and yeah, Amelia? I, I, yes, and always, and I always been, um, 
by Emmy's side, but when Emmy came um, in kindergarten and pre-K, wait, pre-K, wait, we, you we used to be friends, me and Amelia, good friends, and then Emmy came along, and then I used to be good friends, and then, ugh. And then in first grade, three, um, the fight started to happen. It's oh. been going on for three years. I, can, I, can. I don't want the next three, three years. years and we've got to be done with this. And I, I, I don't want the next three years to go like this. You want the next three years? How about the next hundred days at recess? It's it. awful. Anna passed the talking pad to Emmy. Wait, I have one more you're thing You're hopping, today. you're hopping. I have one more thing to say. One last thing, and sum also, it up. And also, um... I want them to, um, and also, um, I want them to feel better about something and, and be friends for a little bit, bit because I, I, I should be the one stuck in the middle, not Emmy, because oh. it's not right. Hold on, I just have to sum this up. So Anna is saying, Amelia, she wants you to be friends with Emmy. And she wants to go back to being good friends, like when you were Can younger. You, you will. So we're going to give you two a chance to work this out. Emmy. Once upon a time, it all started in first grade. So I was new, and everybody was asking me questions. And Amelia came along saying, like, hi. And I didn't really, I wasn't really open to say hi because I was shy. And that's how it all started when Amelia started fighting with me. <gasps> Amelia was the first one to start Got it. Dabbing. Hold on. Do you remember that moment? Yes. Okay, tell me about that moment. I was kind of upset because I knew she was scared, but I was trying to be nice. And you thought she wasn't oh. nice. Yeah. And you made a decision about her right then. That and was like, I fighting. don't want to be friends with her. Yeah. Mendez, get me a scarf. <laughs> we are going oh, back my. in time. Also, wait, I also. Woo, I'm going back in time. Woo. Ready, ladies? We're yes. time traveling. Woo. Back second grade. Woo. Back no, first, first grade. grade. The very first day of first grade. <gasps> Little Emmy <laughs> meets Little Amelia. And you get to do it differently. Amelia is her bubbly self and says, say hello to her. Hi. We're going back in time. <gasps> she's looking shy. Now you know she's shy. How would you do it differently now that you're a third grade girl? What would you say to her? I know you're shy. <gasps> what else would you say? Can you just say hi? Still too shy for hi. What do you understand about that? Is that mean or is that shy? Let's hear about it. What do you say back here? What are you what did what are you saying to her just now, Anna? What did you just say? Do you want to do a handshake instead? Maybe you could say that. Do you want to do a handshake instead? Do you want to do a handshake instead? What else could you offer? You don't know. Now, Emmy, knowing what you know today, what can you tell her about how you're feeling? Is it that you're being mean and don't like her? No. So tell her what thoughts were you in your head back then. I just felt really shy and also... I feel really I shy. To... Please understand. And, uh, and I thought, why not, Amelia, why not tell Visible Marion, like... How, I wish you were what pretty. do you what do you think what I look like? Well, like, you kind of look like you kind of look, look sweet, tough. Sweet. Did I look like scared? Did I think that you were mean? No, you really look Listen, I was too fight. Cause I was Wait, no, you're really looking at me like this. Because like, I was treated horribly in country. <gasps> oh. That's how I felt in summer camp. There's an older. Wait, Here we I go. tell something. I was in sick a more, and it's sick, and I. <laughs> other school like all the kids I barely had any friends and I had there's this boy that was at my table 
and she pretended that she was gonna give me something, but she pretend that she was spitting on it, and oh. and she like treated so me you, horribly. So you didn't trust a new friend being nice. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that from Sycamore? What happened to you at Sycamore? Because you have to look they, at people. I kind of had a hard time. Yeah. And. Do you know when people just and judge you? I was called like a And did you get in big trouble? Yeah. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Um, I so wait, what did you just hear Emmy say? Was she being quiet and looking at you weird because she was trying to be mean to you? Or was it because she wasn't sure she yeah, could she trust had to you? She look at me looking like, was well, a, hold I, on. I sort of think that those looks are kind of nasty. They are, but what was her nasty look telling you? That I trust you. I don't trust you. It's kind of like, you know how when you have, you're an animal lover, right, Anna? Uh, so when you have a dog who's been really treated badly, oh, if that, you go up to touch the dog and say, hi, you're so cute, what is the dog going to do? Bite. He's going to give you that, I don't trust you. And he's just scared. So can we clean the slate? Which means, can we go back, can to, we go back to first grade can and do it different? Now that you question? know that Emmy is, I mean, that Amelia is someone you could trust. Yes. So, yeah, because what did you think what I looked like? Did I look, I'll give you some examples. Did I look scared? Did I look tough? I kind of look scared. Did I look like, like I'm confused? Like, no, but she also said you look kind of rude because you were looking at her like, oh. I was not looking at But that's right. how she was taking it. No, you literally did like this. I did not do that. Though. You might like, listen. And also, I probably like, did do that. I probably did do that. Yeah. Because I did not know what to do. You did because because I, I didn't learn anything at that. School. But now you know because you've been at Spark. How yeah, would you do it differently? <laughs> Tell me. How would you, we're gonna do it over? As if you had been at Spark your whole life, and it's gonna be the first moment you're meeting yeah, Amelia. I Ready? Bad too. Poof. Go. Hello. Hi. First time you're meeting Amelia, what are you going to say to her? Hi. <gasps> she gave you a little hi. What would you say? Maybe you'd ask her, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm a little scared. It's okay. Because my school wasn't very good. Me too. <gasps> you made a connection. Do you want to know why her school wasn't very good? Why was your school wasn't good? And what was the name of it? <gasps> Sycamore. And there it begins. <laughs> Ladies, cut. There begins the start of the friendship. Because you found a way to connect. Right? So let's clear that. All right. Thank you, Mendez. Back in time. I lost our talking pen. Got it. Yeah, sorry. All right. All right. So moving forward, ladies, I like to call you the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, no. We changed it. What? Who are you? Sparks. Sparks. You're, you're the sparks. Emmy's the boss. Wait, wait. So wait. What does the Sparks do? Emmy's the I came up with this idea. Let's hear it. Yeah, first of all. Um, Emmy's the boss, but, but, but she, but she is a princess in disguise. Amelia is strong with words. If any, anybody <laughs> says, oh my gosh, ew, ew, she, she doesn't let that stand in her way. She, like, I, you cannot be a doctor when she grows up. She, she, she doesn't let that go in her way block her way. She keeps going. She and lets I'm nothing stop. And I'm bra brave and I help and it, and I, I empower some who help people um, feel be better like like to help pe people not get hurt anymore. I I'm like I'm like a doctor doctor of powers. Okay, so we've got Like if anyone got Hold on, I'm going to sum it up. We've got the one who's sort of a leader who comes up with ideas, but really is a princess in disguise. We have the one that lets nothing stop her, including those mean words that people say. She plows straight ahead. And we have the one with brave power who's brave enough to be kind, even in the face of trouble. And how people so, ladies, this is what I want you to be aware of. I'm going to tell you now. Emmy can be friends with Anna and still friends with you. Yeah, friends just still split up in a day. You can be friends with Emmy and Anna. 
Anna can be friends with Emmy and Amelia. And it's okay to know that if one of you talks to the other at any time, if you come over and say hi, no leaving out. Is that fair? Okay, last words, and then we've got to get on Mendez. We've got a big agenda. And, Go and ahead. I'm very happy that Anna said I don't, she doesn't want me stuck in the middle because I'm glad that someone has my back and loves me. Maybe you shouldn't be boss. I think maybe because you kind of are like the leader. Wouldn't it be a relief not to feel like you have to be in charge? She likes me in charge. And I'm, also, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm yeah. also very sensitive sometimes. Yes, you all pre are. Uh, Amelia wants to say what she's thinking. It's true. I don't think you should be the boys, boss because I think kind of, like, would you be the boss? I think I should. Yeah, I no, think she should. Yes. She should. Yes. 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 Because yes. you kind of yes. act yes. sassy. Yes. Well, this no, girl, I don't. I got it. How about co-leadership? Co You're Baby, both bosses. You kind of Anna, Anna even agrees with me. Amelia has been acting sassy these days. Yeah, she has. But that's her power. Did you say it yourself? Her power is to be able to be sassy, that's not, not nice. let things stop uh, her. Being no, mean sassy can be she nice. Yes. Mean sassy she can been be mean to Anna. Sassy can be mean to Anna. Uh-oh, how has she been mean to Anna? Um, Wait. Because she's been saying, I know, Anna. I know what I need to do. do. Yeah, and do. if you and like back so off, Anna, Emmy's my friend now. Okay, give me the pen. Oh, and I, so, I have one more thing to say. Um, Emmy said to me, this is what she said, said about me. Why are you friends with Anna? Yep, Amelia said that. Okay, because, like Amelia said in the beginning, she feels left out and scared. Just so you know, I didn't say it like that. How did you say it? Stick up for yourself. I, I said it like, why are you friends with Anna? Like, No, she don't, said, then don't be friends with Anna then. Well, because yeah. it makes... Right, because... I said, I said, I said, don't be friends with Anna then. Because, because sometimes you guys kind of get in a fight. But okay. we already... Barely, we but get we're always making friends. friends. Yeah, we always make up the next we day. We even have, like, ah. we, we can't separate. We can't. Yeah, like a special bubble. Guess what? I already feel like, wait, um, wait. we're changing <laughs> seats because I feel like Amelia is kind of left out too. So I am Can going to put coming? Amelia in the middle. Oh, no. Let's go. Amelia, yeah. you go. Look it up. Here comes the principal. And the wait, switch principal. seats with Emmy. Switch seats. Emmy, switch seats with Amelia. <laughs> Wait, what? Switch seats with Amelia. Wait, what? I want, in the because I oh, want her in the middle of you, right there. Hey, how about me? Nope, go ahead, I right in the middle. I have in the seat. Oh. Can I switch with Mendes? Nope. Yes! Musical chairs. I want to switch with Mendes. Okay. Can I switch with Mendes? Anna, can you tell Amelia <laughs> some of the best things about her? Here we go. Mendes, get them quiet back there. Can go I go in her seat? I want you to look at Amelia and tell her what you, makes her a great friend. You are good. Good. I only, I, and also I miss the old Amelia a lot. What's the old Amelia mean? Friends. Yeah, but I'm still with like that, friend, Anna. A good friend to me. Let her speak. Good friend to me. And doesn't say anything like, why are you friends with Anna? I wasn't even mean. No, you're not mean at all. But I miss the old Amelia. No, no, but the new Amelia, friend. hold on, is growing up, and I want you to tell her just what you love about her. And also, I, and also, I know you don't get along well, but one day, yeah, I, true. I, one day I'm pretty sure, sure you're going to get along better with everybody, okay? And I'm pretty sure you'll grow up. Grow up to be taller and taller and small, <laughs> smarter. Yeah, because Emmy sometimes says that even though it takes. Uh, the, no, no, no. Oh boy. Um, don't not. get into a fight. Don't get into a fight. And nope. also, I love wait. people. Wait. No. Now sometimes, wait. Uh uh. Give me the pen. It's Emmy's turn. Wait, I have one more thing. No, it's um, Emmy's turn. We're, we've got the I time. I love though. your bowl, Emmy. Emmy, I want you to look at Amelia and tell her what you love about her as a friend. Go ahead. This is a little weird. It is a little weird. <laughs> Think about her as a friend. What makes Amelia a good friend for you? 
that you help me sometimes. Yeah, because I want to try to be a nice friend. And yes, I really, and like Anna said, I actually wanted to see you really kind. Like, in the pictures I saw you and Anna hugging in the graduation. I want to see you very, very kind like that. I want to see you happy like that. I want to see you yeah, that makes can't. friends easy yeah, like that. Because I loved you like that. Looking at you in that picture like Okay, that. and now it's Amelia's turn. What do you want these girls to know, Amelia? Sometimes I can be a little tough. I'm kind of like my sister. <laughs> Watching. Don't scream at her when she gets home. And okay. also, and Wait. also, and you're lucky I didn't grow up to be Sarah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. What Amelia just did was one of the most mature things I've heard today. And she said she took responsibility for herself. She said, I know I can be tough sometimes. Well, I can be a little mean sometimes. So, right? We know. So what... What did you want to finish that with? I, I know I can be tough, I know, and... I know I can be tough, and I'm kind of like my sister, because sometimes she means like that, and sometimes I kind of like... Can, can so I you're saying that she teaches you to be tough? Yes, yeah, Okay, like so... Like making a bad and what, But what do you want to be, Amelia, in this friendship? I want to be a nice person. You are a nice person. You just You want to, to get along with everybody, it's right? Like try. So, and you can. You can be tough, because it's part of your power, and you can also compromise. So can the compromise today be that all three of you can be friends? Yeah, Amelia, can that be the compromise? That Emmy can be friends with Anna and you? Yeah, She doesn't have to choose one or the other? Yeah. Can you live with that? Yeah. Really? It might be a little uncomfortable, but it might be good uncomfortable. And for also, you. we have to start and and also I know I can be mean sometimes, but you also has to be nice sometimes too. Well, she said that. I she know. just I said get that. that because sometimes you I, calm down. Because sometimes oh. I mean. Oh wait, so listen, when, listen to what some, Amelia's going to tell you. Sometimes when I get a little frustrated, you kind of you kind of calm down, and I like that. <gasps> That's amazing. That's Did like you me. just hear that? That's like me and Emmy. Look at her face. That's like me and Emmy. Hold on. That just told her something very important. Sometimes when I get too worked up, you calm me down. That's a good friend. How about Anna for you? What does Anna give you as a friend? Uh, if you gave her a chance. Every day she reminds me to get my water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even remind me. You make me that. Hydration. Yeah. All right. So obviously, ladies, thank God I still have Wait, you I for have two say, more years okay, at Spark. I have to say something. Hold on. Yeah, Give I me know, this. I, have to say I will. Really You'll bad. get to have a final word. This is going to be an ongoing issue. These kinds of girl problems are not solved in a minute. They're not wrapped up in some cute little phrase, but it starts by being honest and a little uncomfortable and tr making the decision that you are gonna work on all three of you trying to make room for each of you to be friends. And now, final word. That means just your final word. Last thing you wanna say because we've got someone waiting. I felt like um, she was leaving me behind, like Amelia, she, I felt like she was like saying, I had to do all the work to make me kind, but that also includes her. Like, I feel like it's all on Two me. Two-way street. Yeah. Did you hear Amelia say today, though, that she's taking responsibility for that? Yeah. Did you hear her? Yes, I did. Because she did. That was big. Good. Amelia, final words. I can't How do you feel about this? I feel good because sometimes I can be a little mean. But your mean comes from, it sounds to me, like being scared. Yeah. Scared of being left out. Yeah. That's where most of our means come yeah, from, is being scared. Shh, nope, nope. Pass it on. Anna, final words? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, final words is I stick up for Emmy, and I also stick up for yeah, Emmy. We were I friends. <gasps> Just her. And, and also, I stick up for everybody else that's my friend. Um, and
Sky meets my friends, and Mary is my friend, but we are Samantha. You want everybody Daniel, to be friends. And, but and, and Benjamin. Okay, so Anna's... And everybody wants... And, and I, so I think I fully agree with everybody Anna, that I know. I got you. So Anna's motto is, why can't we all be friends? I stick up for everybody You who try. I know. And Amelia's just, motto is, like I, I know I'm tough, up. but I'm trying. And yeah. I also just said Anna, that are you keep me. talking over me? Yeah. Mm. Why can't we all be friends? I know I'm tough, but I'm trying. Yeah, but can I tell Anna And something? it's hard to be in the middle, and I'm going to try to just be friends the best way I can. Sounds good for now. We're not complete. We're going to probably have a lot more conversations about this through the years. But you showed up really honestly, ladies. I think you're awesome. I do think you're three power girls. What did you say your name was? Sparks. The Sparks. We spark up the world with kindness and love. All right, off you go. Spark the world with kindness and love. But doesn't that start in your own Whoa. friendship, ladies? Okay. Mendez, that was rough. That was <laughs> rough. What were your thoughts? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. You know, my biggest thought on it is real friendships have to be authentic. Mm -hmm. And sitting here and feeling the level Mama, of safety class. these girls felt in being able to honestly talk to each other, yeah. right? You feel like there is such connection and desire. But there are also very real feelings of mm -hmm. feeling left out, not chosen. And that takes a lot of work in navigating through. And I guess my message is don't expect to fix things in one talk session. This has been going on with these girls for a while. It takes a lot of navigating and um, working through just those issues of feeling left out, insecure, unchosen, and especially even though they're young, coming from a background where they did have experiences where they weren't um, treated right in schools that they were in before. So with that said, I always enjoy them, but boy, do they exhaust <laughs> me. Now, what's next on our agenda? Who's supposed to be in the office today? I'm Liam from fifth grade. Oh, yes, so Liam, our fifth grade leader, come on out. Oh, Liam, could you get your peace project box? What Liam has done is he collaborated with the teacher to create what is called the Peace Project. And the Peace Project is all about solving problems peacefully. And can we also have Samantha, the third grade leader. So here's the Peace Project box. Samantha, come sit on this side of Liam. So I have Samantha here because she was chosen as our third grade leader. And how are our leaders chosen in school? What did we have to do, Samantha? Um, we had to... I'm actually going to pull you closer to Liam so we can see you. <laughs> Go ahead. What did, how did you get chosen? Um, I don't really remember. Do you remember your class sitting in a circle? Yeah. What were they doing? Um, talk taking turns saying, who should it be? Yes. We actually chose our leaders the Iroquois way, which is the students sat together, and the criteria for a leader is someone who, most of all, is peaceful, is a peaceful problem solver, is kind, is respectful, is community-minded, fair-minded. And Sam was voted in by her class as her leader, so she does have a natural ability and is seen by her community members as someone who doesn't start trouble, start problems, but looks to solve them. So Liam, you started the Peace Project. What is the, What do you do here with the Peace Project? You have to fill out a sheet of um, like what your problem is and how it makes you feel. And then once you put it in the box in a couple days, you will get it back with a response on it from me, and it will help you solve your problem. So you're kind of like giving advice. Yeah. What makes you think that you're someone who can give advice? Because I've experienced a lot of problems that I had to solve. 
Wow. So in experiencing a lot of problems, you've tried out a lot of solutions. Mm -hmm. And with our heart-to-heart -heart method here at Spark, it sounds to me like because you've experienced a lot of problems, you probably have empathy for people who are struggling. Mm -hmm. What would you say that means to have empathy for someone who's struggling? To feel bad for someone else and to feel how they feel. Yeah, to really feel what they may be going through. And when we have that kind of feeling for someone else, we're usually not judging them, right? So that makes for someone to give great advice. This I love because we've already had a nice response. We've had quite a few kids write in and we have some of our third graders who also wrote in. Our first two who had a, the same problem comes from the code name of Snoring Dino. Now Snoring Dino. Dino. Snoring Dino. <laughs> Snoring Dino wrote in and said, what did Snoring Dino write in and say? My problem is going to bed. I can't sleep. I'm not tired. Too much light. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this, Sam. What do you think, having a problem with sleep, how is that connected to school? Maybe because they work so hard, it might. That might be a reason they do get tired since we work so hard. And what happens if a student doesn't get enough sleep at night? They're like they have like complaints most of the time. Oh. They're like kind of out of system. If they're out of sync, they're cranky. So sleep is one of the most important things for students. And you actually had two students write in about the same problem. We had Snoring Dino, also known as, he allowed us to reveal his identity, and he's here with us today, Benjamin and Malia who also wrote in about having some sleep problems. Please welcome Benjamin and Malia. Welcome to the show. So Benjamin, what's going on with your sleep? Um, I sometimes can't sleep because I don't have like curtains for the windows yet. Ah. And, uh, and the lights are... <clears throat> And the lights from the street are like shining in my eyes when I try to sleep. So that makes it hard. So light definitely can be a problem. And how about you, Malia? What goes on for you at sleep time? I twist and turn in the night. Oh, so you fall asleep, but you keep waking up? S sometimes I've experienced that. Do you have bad dreams? Mm -mm. I have a dream catcher, but it's broken, but it still works catches the bad dreams. That's awesome. Do any of you have dream catches? Do they work? No. no. They work for you, Liam? Okay. So Liam has written a response. Let's see what your response is, Liam. Oh, wait. Before we go to your response, how does it feel when you can't fall asleep at night? Uh, uh, nice. <laughs> And relieving. When you can. How about when you can't fall asleep? When I can't fall asleep. We lost him. <laughs> wow. <Oops. laughs> what happens? <laughs> Go ahead. When you can't fall asleep. When I can't fall asleep, I, I, I try um. I try going. Up no, no. But how do you feel? What feeling would you attach to it? Frustrated, scared, sad, mad, happy when you can't fall asleep. Frustrated. Super frustrated. How about you, Malia, when you are twisting and turning? What feeling is that? I don't really feel it that much. Are you feeling happy? Um, not really. No. But the feeling when I wake up in the night is, why can't I fall asleep? So that's kind of frustrated. So all problems, one of the things I love about your sheet, Liam, is you really look to ask them, how does this make you feel, this problem? So at the heart of this problem is frustration. I'm trying to go to sleep. Why can't I sleep? Liam, what have you come up with? Let's hear his solution. Turn off the light and shut your door. 
Before bed, try to get your energy out. Drink cherry juice. Cherry juice? Wait, That's what? weird. Why? It helps you sleep. Have you oh. tried that? I have, but I don't like the taste of it. You don't like the I, taste of it? I don't even like cherries, so I'm afraid to try this. <laughs> you know what? I think that's amazing. So did your mom give you cherry juice? Cherry juice is actually a natural way to help you fall asleep. Tart cherry juice. You drink a little bit. It has in it naturally a kind of vitamin that makes the body relax into sleep. So now I'm thinking that in the future people can really actually make potions now. Well, not potions. It's natural medicine. Medicine comes from our fruits and vegetables and plants. Yeah. It's a natural like way. Like carrots. Mm -hmm. Carrot so, juice. So, okay. What do you think Can't of that eat. advice? Mm -hmm. Sort of useful. <laughs> yeah, right? I like get your energy out. Let me ask you this. Do you use video games or computers before bed? Um, usually a... <coughs> I play the last game of Mario Kart with my mom. Okay. Like at, but that's like at four o'clock or something. Good. Like so it's way before bed. Good. <laughs> sometimes, that? but uh, sometimes when my mom's not here and she's working, I I sometimes just have to sneak around of Mario Kart. Well, I ask you because they say if you play video games before bed it will give you a hard time falling asleep. Mm -hmm. So you have to be away from all electronics. I want to go back to you. Since you know about tart cherry juice, have you had trouble falling asleep? I had. And do you, do you get that same feeling of frustration? Yeah, because it's hot. when you don't sleep, it's kind of like annoying because if you're really tired and you really want to sleep and you just can't, it's annoying because you really want to sleep. And then it makes you more revved up, right? Yeah. I want to sleep, I can't, I'm not falling asleep, what do I do? And then you end up like, <laughs> now I'm awake, what do I do? <laughs> Boys and girls, there's something called sleep hygiene. Do you know the word hygiene? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, the sleep hygiene was... Um, no, but what does hygiene um, mean? Like keeping healthy? Keeping clean. Yeah, yeah like... Sleep healthy. Yes, sleep yeah. clean, sleep like, healthy. Don't, like, don't use electronics on the bed. Yes, what else is sleep clean? Yes. Um, um, what could clean up your sleep? Yes. Make sure you're prepared before you go to bed. Oh, what do you mean by that? Yeah, like if you have everything all over your room and then it's going to be like harder for you to sleep because you can't find anything. Yes, yes. So have your room cleaned up, have everything ready, get in bed nice and cozy. Yes. Maybe hot sweep, um, sweep chocolate your... Chocolate has caffeine. No <laughs> chocolate before bed, but hot milk is good. Yep. Um, maybe sweep your floor so you don't get allergies from oh the dust gosh, on the floor. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Sometimes we don't even realize we have allergies that may wake us up. Definitely sleep clean. Anything else on the snoozers? Anybody feel like falling asleep right now? Yes. <laughs> Me. All right, thank you, you two. On to our next problem. Thank you and goodbye. Next we have, yeah, you're the student leader. Oh, this is a good one. We've got Diamond Wolf, also known as Daniel. Daniel, come in. AKA, that's my uh, Minecraft name. Is it your Minecraft name? Okay, come. Oh, you're going to sit right there? Don't play that before. Daniel I... wrote. Let's hear what Daniel wrote. What do you do when someone pushes you? Ah, what do you do? Has someone pushed you? Um, like four times when I was in my old school. And. What did you do then? Um, I, I didn't care about it. Then it got a little bit annoying, and then I told my teacher, but she didn't believe me. Oh, so it just has stayed in your head. Yeah. And what has your family told you about that, what you should do when someone pushes you? 
um, they didn't know who it, so, like, then they just, um, like, like, got me out of the school because then I got super annoyed and I told my parents. Gotcha. Okay, let's see what Liam has to say. Go ahead, Liam. Talk to a teacher. Stand up for yourself. So you did talk to a teacher, but that didn't help. So then Liam says, what's another way to stand up for yourself? What else do you tell him? Yeah. Um, what you should learn is to face your fears or tell them how you feel. Tell them how you feel. But now, this kid was from your old school, right? So you can't tell him how you feel anymore. Except... I've got a handy dandy little technique here. You ready? It's called the empty chair. Daniel, could you get me a scarf from that basket? Inside the basket, there's a scarf. Pick one out. Empty chair. Empty chair. What's going to happen? The scarf is going to All right, be Daniel, here. give me the basket. Just give me the whole basket. Take the scarf and then the human appears. Right in here. We're going to take out one color, green. Do you remember the name of the kid who pushed you? Uh, forgot his name. Don't remember. He was just a kid from the old school. Yes? So we're going to put this green scarf. And we are going to use one of the greatest resources kids have, imagination. You are going to imagine that boy is sitting here right now, and you are going to get to take Liam's advice. What was your advice? To face your fears, tell them how you feel. You are going to get to tell him how you feel about him pushing you. And you could say it in your, wait, what's the feeling you have about him pushing you? Uh, annoying and sad. Sad and annoying. So stand up, Danielle. You're going to get to do it. Today's the day. I'm going to help you face your fear. Ready? Up. You're going to tell him. I, I am, am annoyed and sad. I am annoyed and sad. I don't. I don't feel like you are um. You have light inside you. I don't feel like you have light inside you. I don't feel like you have personal... Um, I don't feel like you keep pick... I feel like you keep picking on me so you can feel much bigger and make me feel smaller. Wow. I feel like you keep picking on me to make you feel bigger and me smaller. I want you to know that that doesn't work for me to be smaller. Doesn't work for me. I am not smaller. I, I will. I will not. I will not. Um, I will not be afraid of you anymore. Let's say that really loud. Could you guys help? I think you both went to sleep. Did you have cherry juice? No. <laughs> Did you have some? Ready? What was the last thing you just said? I will not be scared. We're going to help him out. Ready? On three, we're all going to say it. One, two, three. I will not be scared of you anymore. Okay. Now, Daniel, that was amazing. You stood up to that, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to say to him? No. All right, let's clear him out of this room. You're out. We don't need to deal with you. So, there is a way to stick up for yourself because when that boy was pushing you all that time, did you start to think you were smaller than him? Did you think you were less? Uh, yeah. You did. 
So the thoughts in your head were saying like, he's pushing me because what? He's pushing me because maybe he wanted to feel big because he maybe he some other like he was bad at something. Could be, could be. But the main thing is. That's not fair to you, ever, to be pushed. And you can, with the way you just stood up to him, that was powerful, right? Have you ever had that happen to you? I'm going to ask you the same question of someone not treating you right. Do you know how that feels? Yes. How does it feel for you, Liam? Um, it makes me angry and frustrated. Yeah. And you know it's hard to stand up for yourself, right? But, boys and girls, I want you to know, you could always play empty chair. If someone's not around or you want to practice standing up for yourself, imagine the person is sitting in an empty chair and you just let all your feelings out. Will you try it at home? Safe to try at home. Okay, Mendez, we're coming to the end of our show. Let's clear Peace Project out. This was amazing, Liam. I am so proud of what you started. Uh, Daniel, thank you. Sam, thank you. Liam, thank you. Mendez, what a day in the life of Spark Elementary. I'm exhausted. Honestly, this was exhausting. So. Such great resources, right? right at our fingertips. And part of empathy training and helping students feel empowered by their ability to be empathetic is to help them evolve into the role of guide. Use the difficulties that have come up in their lives, the wounds that they've suffered, as a means to help others to give advice, to be a better friend, but most importantly, to begin to eliminate judgment around what people are struggling with. So when Liam developed Peace Project, he developed it along with one of our teachers, Miss Jen, and she truly uh, thought outside the box with him and helped him to see that his obstacles are actually leading to his destiny almost because he is now in a position to be a resource to others. And that's what it's all about as kids begin to move into their true power. So, anything left for today, Mendez? That seems to be it for today. That's it. So we are going to get ready to close our show. I do want to put out there to you, anybody who is interested in sponsoring um, Call to the Principal Table, we would love that. We film at Paradise Studio, so it does cost us money to get these shows up and running. We'd love to have a sponsor. We'll advertise you. Right now, our entrepreneurial club is helping to sponsor us. They did a great holiday boutique. Part of the profits are going to this production. But we also want to partner with community members, businesses, parents, anyone who truly believes in our mission to solve problems peacefully, to really listen to children and help them step into the role of empowerment and empathetic and fearless, in a way, guides to stand up for truth. Today was a lot about uncomfortable, things that make you uncomfortable, and even our processing with the girls. It's not going to always end comfortable, and it's not about that. It's not about having kids just feel great every minute. The discomforts, the conflicts, are really means to teach. And we put down a basic rule about uncomfortable. If a child is feeling uncomfortable and it's because there is something unsafe that they might be doing or something that disrespects them in some way, 
then by all means the line is drawn and they are not to stay in an uncomfortable situation. But if the uncomfortable is that they're having a hard time navigating the playground or that their clothes is feeling a little bit itchy or that the math problem is just out of their uh, comfort zone, no. They need to learn how to manage and navigate the discomfort because that is life. We are constantly in uncomfortable positions and they children need support in moving through it. They need strategies, techniques, advice on how to move through it. But the bottom line is, of course, if something is an inner voice is telling a child, this is uncomfortable because my friend is telling me to jump off the playground bridge, well, no then that's a good messenger. Or this is uncomfortable because uh, someone is touching me in a way that feels weird. Nope, that's clear no. Clear no, clear yes, and then the in-between, which is what this table is for, to navigate those places where we just need to look and explore and discover together. Now what's really exciting is next week we are going to have our kindergartners to the table. So our little ones <laughs> with their cute little voices, kindergartners next week. And our kindergartners community have over the last month or two have experienced birth birth of new babies and they've also experienced death death of pets death of grandparents and so our littlest ones are going to bring their insight into what it's been like to experience both birth and death another conversation that it, we don't usually talk to kids about but let's bring it to the table they've been talking to me about it and so i thought it would be nice to bring it here with that said May your New Year's be peaceful. May recess be fun. <laughs> Please let it be fun. May you take time for recess. And if it's not that fun, maybe you could learn something and tap into your greatest resources, which I always say are our children, our greatest natural resources, and they've got tons of wisdom. Final word, Miss Mendez, you got the talking pen? Nope. No! Is the final no word. Final Thank words. God for Miss Mendez. <laughs> Welcome back, and until next time, be well. We love you, and take care. We're out. <laughs>